Hey world, I'm Josh. Hi, I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Ice cream edition. With the uh, big storm in the background. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> Ashby's Sterling Ice Cream. They're Salty Jack, which is salty caramel ice cream with salty caramel swirl and butter toasted pecans. There's the label. Uh, never seen this brand before until we went to a fresh thyme market. The thyme is spelled like the herb. And it says, in 1984, the Tom Davis family, owners of a Michigan dairy company, recognized the need in the market for an old-fashioned quality ice cream. It was a time when there were many small ice cream makers that crafted their products with pride, using only the best ingredients. The family tasted and tested many formulas before settling on an ice cream with a balance of 14% butterfat and 85% overrun. That's pretty specific for like a random brand. Like these are, I mean, you know, I wouldn't say it's like an ultra premium by any stretch. It feels pretty light and airy, but hey, that's cool that they put that. Mm -hmm. Their new old fashioned ice cream was made without fillers like whey and buttermilk powders. It was the creamy, refreshing ice cream of a generation gone by. Great care had to be used in blending the product to create smooth, appealing, colorful, and unique flavors. In addition, the ice cream would call for lots of the good stuff in each scoop. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The, uh, all these years later, it's still the same, and they've sold it in a bunch of big, uh, fancy fairs. And it's continued to be produced in Michigan on the shores of Lake Michigan. And it's ashbeesicecream.com. And 200 calories per. It's kind of a mess, but there's the uh, nutritional info if you want to pause it and take a look. And there's a look inside. You can see that Lauren has been in this before, but the mixing game seems on point, and the uh, salty caramel swirl is like the runniest I've ever seen. Which, it, like, usually a swirl is like frozen like the ice cream. Somehow they figured out how to, like, make this super creamy and, and I don't know if it'll it's kinda I had it down below but yeah it it's definitely really creamy and I've rambled on for two and a half minutes about this kind of ice cream but all you really care about is how does it taste what do you think Laura? I mean this stuff is amazing this flavor is incredible and I'm, they really go for it with the caramel, which normally I'm not really into that, but the combination of the peanuts and like a large, large, like whole peanuts are... The peanut, very peanutty, mm -hmm. delicious. That's yeah. what makes it so good. It's not just peanut butter flavored ice cream. There's a lot of peanuts in there. And yeah with every scoop you get a ton of mix-ins yeah which is amazing because you get gypped on a lot in a lot of brands um it's by no means an ultra premium but it's not priced like it is i think maybe this uh quart was like six bucks you know a pint of jenny's is like 12 13 a pint of mcconnell's is eight or nine mm -hmm. cool house is like six for a pint it's not really an ultra premium though. Yeah. This flavor is awesome. My one criticism of this is that the texture is a little inconsistent. Mm. Bits of it are, I mean granted, I've eaten a lot of this already, but I will say that even when I had it the first time, the texture was a little bit icy in some parts and then more creamy, in, so it was just a little bit inconsistent. Yeah, it's a little airy. It's not super dense. So in terms of like the base and just the overall like quality of the ice cream, you kind of get what you pay for in that regard. It's probably because the mix-ins are so big too, but I think that... Well, they're not like full peanuts. They're like chunks. Mm -hmm. Like what you're used to on the outside of a... a, a drumstick? A drumstick, yeah, that's a good one. I was going to say like on a Sunday, but yeah, that's a good one. This is... Definitely one of my favorite ice cream flavors. If they up the consistency a little bit, then it would make it into my all-time favorite ice creams. But I can't say that it's my top, like, two or one ice creams because of the, the texture is a little 
different. It is surprisingly really, really good. Uh, not afraid to be salty. Mm hmm Doesn't... Salty caramel isn't necessarily... It doesn't taste like a lot of other salty caramels. It's more like a Cracker Jack, almost. Yeah. Like, it's way more peanut-centered flavor. Right. Than caramel. The mm. caramel's there, and there's quite a bit of it. But it's definitely more about the, the peanut flavor. Yeah, not super sweet. Um, lots of peanut flavor. The base doesn't... I don't know. Mm. The base is pretty bland. But there's tons of mix-ins. And I would say that this is a very solid selection if you can get your hands on it for the money. I'm, it'd be yeah. hard to beat for this kind of money. So, if you're interested in this kind of flavor and a lot of mix-ins, you should give it a try. You get a lot of ice cream for the money, so it's not Yeah, if not you can find pack. it and um, you're looking for a value pick, I would say this, this fits the bill. So, thanks for watching. Tell us what to try next. Comment down below and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Bye.